bought a Watson rotary and now you need a rotary device for it? Watch this video and learn how to connect it. Hi, I'm Leo and this is Watson. Subscribe and join our community of CNC enthusiasts. Let's get started. What CNC machine will the rotary fit? First of all, not every rotor equipment can be connected with the rotor device. Watson has four lines of machines, Mini, A1, M1, and M3. The main difference between them lies in the height of the Z-axis. This axis is the one determining which kind of the rotary can fit the machine and whether it's going to fit at all. Mini series, there is a rotary device for this type of machine, which consists of the two parts a chuck and a wedge holder. Speaking of the standard rotary device used on the Watson machines, it consists of a large steel plate with the rails and the rotary unit itself. It's quite tall, so it won't be compatible with the machine from the mini series, as you can imagine. It's also not entirely possible to install the such devices on the A-series as the 200mm Z-axis isn't enough for the proper and comfortable operation with the rotary device. For this reason, the M1-series exists, which comes standard with the 300mm Z-axis. Alternatively, you can order a custom A1, a standard M1, or a machine from the M3 series with an automatically tool-change system. Connection process. It has its own nuances depending on the model. But let's take M1, which is the best suit for this, as an example. In this case, you have two paths you can take, the right one and the wrong one. The wrong way is to switch one of the axes to the rotary device. Due to that, we recommend using the rotary axis as a fourth one additionally. To work the right path, you need to replace the A11 controller with the A18, a special version designed for the four axes. Install an additional stepper motor driver for the rotary device in the cabinet. This way, the X axis will remain fixed and won't move allowing for simple and comfortable operation. Plus, you can easily switch back to working with the three axes, just to remove the rotary device from the table without needing to change any connections. The cabinet will already have the four drivers for the three axes. Don't get confused. The Y axis requires two motors. You will need to add the fifth driver. Next, connect the driver to the power supply. Then, run the wires from the driver to the controller and to the C-axis. This is what the fourth axis will be called. Finally, place the rotor device on the table and connect it to the fifth driver in the cabinet. Now, it is necessary to set up the A18 controller. After connecting, press the origin button on the controller and wait for the machine to complete the operation. The next step is to set a new zero point for the rotary axis. To do this, press the C minor and on off button combination. A menu will open where you need to select clear A. Afterward, you will be returned to the previous screen where all the numbers will display as zeros. Next, press the menu, then machine setup and select the pulse equivalent. Choose the rotary axis A and set to the ADA 900. The controller will then prompt you to restart the machine. Go ahead and do that. Now you can test the steps. Hold on either the C minor or C plus button and check whether the numbers reset to zero after exceeding 360 degrees. If the setup is correct, this is exactly what should happen. That's it. Now you have a rotary device that's always ready for use and can simply be stored under the table when not needed. If you have to connect the rotary device to the same tech controller, we recommend consulting professionals, as this is a complex process where it is very easy to make mistakes. M1-1325RD. Alternatively, you can skip all this process and simply purchase a pre-prepared machine with a rotary device where our engineers have done everything for you. 
All you need to do is turn it on. For this, we offer the basic M13025 RD model with the rotary axis already built into the machine. It allows processing of balusters and other cylindrical objects. This feature has found a place in the furniture production. Also, you may manufacture a whole staircase with this machine. And the maximum length of the workpiece for the rotary device here is 2100 mm. Conclusion. So you have three options to set up the rotary device for your work. Replace one of the axes and connect the rotary device instead. Install the device as the fourth axis by a rotor with additional option already included. So you don't have to connect anything yourself. The choice is yours and we are here to help you in any case. Drop your question in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated and never miss a video. For example, learn how our exhibitions went. My name is Leo. This is Watson. Bye-bye.